Hi, I'm Russ Sigel, test and demonstration driver for Caterpillar. This morning I want to share a few tips with you about the things you need to be leery of when you first start out your day. You want to check the oil right here on this model is where it's at. Check that oil and make sure it's the level's just right where you want it. You don't want to have to worry about it after you've already gone down the road. If you need to add oil on this model, it's right here, very convenient and easy for you to reach. When you're on this side of the engine, you also want to be observant of your belt and make sure it's not wore out or showing any fraying or anything like that. And take a look at your connections, make sure they're all good. This here is your power steering fluid. And you'll notice that on this model, it's a little bit low. The fluid should be up to this cold line. Well, if that's low, there's a pretty good chance there's a reason for it. And if you follow the line down, you'll notice right there happens to be the issue. Now that might be something as simple as a screwdriver and you can tighten up that clamp, or it might need a new hose, it's hard to say. But as long as you're on this side of the engine, you might as well make note of all these. Sooner or later, any leak that's alongside the block or anywhere in here is gonna create a problem for you. Let's go to the other side of the engine now. Now that we've moved to this side of the engine, some things over here that you wanna look for is this fluid level in the windshield washer. You're gonna wanna make sure that's full. You never know when you're gonna need that fluid and it'll keep your windshield clean. This here is the coolant reservoir tank. You wanna make sure it's between the min and the max. If you run out of coolant, it's gonna create a big problem for your engine and you. So try to keep that in a nice margin of error there. Keep it above the minimum line. Don't miss the opportunity to check the belts and look for any visible leaks on this side of the engine and make sure the wires and the hoses are all attached nice and tight. For more information, see your local cat dealer.